What if I told you that in a country better known for its rainy days than sunshine farmers are growing over 69 million cucumbers a year without touching a single inch of soil? Welcome to the Netherlands, home to some of the most advanced greenhouse farming technology in the world, and today we're going inside to see how it all works. At Green AgroWorks, we believe food isn't just something that ends up on your plate, it's a story, a system, a science. And in this episode, we're taking you through the entire journey of the humble cucumber from seed to harvest to packing all within a glass and metal ecosystem built to grow food smarter, cleaner, and faster. We'll show you how cutting-edge vertical farming techniques, climate-controlled greenhouses, and nutrient-infused irrigation systems have completely reimagined the way we grow produce. These aren't backyard gardens. These are high-efficiency operations capable of feeding entire cities all year round. But behind the tech is still the human touch, the farmers, scientists, and laborers who make it possible season after season. So buckle up, grab your favorite veggie snack, and get ready to discover how modern agriculture is redefining what's possible, even in the most unlikely climates. This is Green, AgroWorks, and today we're going inside the future of farming. Every cucumber has a beginning, and it all starts with a single seed. Inside a modern Dutch greenhouse, the process of growing 69 million cucumbers annually begins not in the soil, but in a nursery that looks more like a science lab than a farm. Here seeds are planted in sterile, soilless mediums like rock wool cubes or coconut fiber plugs. These materials offer optimal moisture retention, excellent airflow, and a clean environment for strong, disease-free germination. Once planted, the seeds are placed under controlled lighting and heat to ensure even rapid sprouting. Within just a few days, tiny green shoots begin to emerge delicate, but full of promise. These early days are some of the most important in a cucumber's life. A single mistake, too much water, not enough warmth could weaken the plant before it ever gets to produce fruit. As the seedlings grow taller, small bamboo sticks or support clips are added to help them stand upright and train their growth. The air is rich with moisture, and every square foot of this nursery is carefully monitored by both sensors and experienced growers who can spot early issues with just a glance. What makes this nursery so special isn't just the high-tech setup, it's the combination of innovation and human care. These cucumber seedlings are raised like future champions, destined to be transplanted into massive growing halls where they'll climb flower and feed thousands of families. After 10 to 14 days when the plants have developed strong stems and healthy root systems, they're ready to graduate from the nursery to the main greenhouse floor. This careful start ensures a powerful finish because in farming, just like in life, everything great begins with a strong foundation. Before we dive into the next stage, let me ask you something. Have you ever tried growing cucumbers at home, even just a few on your balcony or backyard? It's amazing how much joy a single vine can bring. If you're enjoying this behind the scenes look at greenhouse farming, give this video a like and subscribe to Green. Agro works for more real food journeys like this. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. What's your favorite way to enjoy cucumbers fresh pickled or in a salad? The journey of a cucumber doesn't start in the field. It begins in a carefully controlled nursery where science meets nature in the most delicate way. Inside these modern greenhouses, farmers don't use soil the way traditional growers do. Instead, cucumber seeds are germinated in sterile growing cubes made from rock wool or coconut fiber, lightweight airy materials that retain moisture while giving the roots plenty of space to breathe. This method helps the plants grow faster, stronger, and more uniformly essential when you're trying to grow millions of cucumbers a year. In this pristine environment, everything is regulated from light intensity to humidity and temperature. Some farms even use blue and red spectrum LED lighting to stimulate optimal photosynthesis, creating the ideal conditions for the seedlings to thrive 24 seven. It's like giving each baby plant its own personalized spa treatment. Once the seedlings reach about six to eight inches tall, they're strong enough to be transplanted to the main growing area a massive indoor space that could stretch the length of a football field. The scale here is jaw-dropping. Workers often ride bicycles just to get from one side of the greenhouse to the other. Instead of traditional rows and dirt, these young cucumber plants are inserted into long mats made of biological fiber, where they'll live for the rest of their productive lives. Each mat receives a steady drip of nutrient-rich water delivered directly to the root zone 
an ultra-efficient hydroponic system that conserves water and eliminates runoff. It's farming precision at its best. But even in this high-tech world, the farmer's hands are never far. They secure every seedling to a rope, gently wrapping the vine upward as it grows, ensuring it climbs toward the crop wire above. This is vertical farming in action, a method that maximizes space and keeps the cucumbers off the ground, straight, clean, and ready for market. By the end of this phase, each plant is thriving full of potential and reaching skyward. The real growth is just beginning. As the cucumber seedlings settle into their new home, they begin to climb literally. Each young vine is tied to a guiding rope that stretches up to a crop wire suspended near the ceiling of the greenhouse, often 10 to 12 feet high. This rope isn't just a support line, it's a growth map. Every few days, workers gently twist the growing stem around the rope, helping the plant grow upward in a straight and stable path. This hands-on care may sound simple, but it's an essential part of maximizing yield and space in a vertical farming system. And just like that, in a matter of weeks, the plants start to bloom. Delicate yellow flowers open across the vines, a sign that fruit isn't far behind. These flowers are more than beautiful, they're functional. Most greenhouses use Parthena carpet cucumber varieties, meaning they don't require pollination to produce fruit. This helps maintain consistency and avoids relying on bees in a controlled environment. Growers must be observant during this stage. They prune any weak shoots or excess leaves to direct more energy to the fruiting sites. Each healthy vine is capable of producing dozens of cucumbers, and the balance between foliage and fruit is key to achieving both quality and volume. Lighting also plays a critical role now. In Northern Europe and anywhere with less year-round sunlight, LED grow lights simulate daylight and extend growing hours, encouraging stronger vines and earlier flowering. This innovation allows greenhouses to produce multiple harvests each year, even during the cold, dark months of winter. The temperature, humidity, airflow, even carbon dioxide levels are all controlled with incredible precision. It's like nature, but optimized. These fine-tuned conditions encourage rapid, healthy flowering and ensure the plants stay productive. By this point, the vines are tall, the flowers are blooming, and the first baby cucumbers, about the size of your pinky finger, have started to take shape. The transformation is in full swing, and what comes next, it's harvest time. Before we move on, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen a cucumber plant grow up a single rope stretching toward the ceiling like a vine in a sci-fi greenhouse? Pretty wild, right? If you're enjoying this behind the scenes look at modern farming, give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss what's coming next. And here's a question for you. Would you ever try growing cucumbers at home, even on a small scale? Drop a emoji in the comments if you'd give it a shot. Once the cucumbers are harvested, they begin a short but vital journey through the post-harvest facility, a place where speed, cleanliness, and precision come together like clockwork. First stop, the washing station. The cucumbers are gently rolled into a sanitized water bath, removing dust pollen and any residue from the greenhouse. Soft brushes rotate to clean the skins without bruising the fruit, ensuring that each cucumber is food safe and visually appealing. It's a refreshing rinse that prepares them for their next destination. From there, the cucumbers are loaded onto high-speed conveyor belts where they glide past automated cameras and sensors that scan for size, weight, shape, and defects. Using 3D imaging and AI recognition, the system can identify even the slightest imperfection. Slightly curved too short, a blemish on the skin. The sorting machines catch it all but technology only goes so far. At the final checkpoint, trained workers inspect the cucumbers by hand, giving a human stamp of approval before anything is packed. This extra step ensures that only top-grade produce makes it to the market. The sorted cucumbers are then carefully packed into corrugated cardboard boxes designed to protect the fruit during shipping. Some are wrapped in breathable plastic to maintain moisture for longer journeys, while others are packaged loose for nearby markets. Each box is labeled with its origin harvest date in quality grade, then stacked onto pallets ready for refrigerated trucks. From here, they head to supermarkets across Europe, the US and beyond, keeping the supply chain short and the cucumbers crisp. 
It's an incredible process, all executed in under a day from vine to box. But before the next cycle begins, there's still one final step cleaning and resetting the greenhouse for the next round of planting. As the final crates of cucumbers leave the packing facility, the greenhouse doesn't rest. There's no pause button in modern agriculture, especially in an operation of this scale. The moment harvest ends, teams begin the reset process, clearing out the previous crop to prepare for the next cycle. First, the old cucumber vines, now wilted and spent, are carefully cut down from the high wire trellises. These plants have given their all, and now they're removed and composted or recycled, depending on the farm's sustainability goals. Next comes the deep clean. All the tools support wires and surfaces are sterilized to prevent the spread of disease or pests into the next crop. The biological fiber mats are either replaced or refreshed depending on their condition. These mats are critical to healthy root development, so nothing is left to chance. The greenhouse floor is cleared, and even the roof panels are washed, allowing maximum sunlight to penetrate for the new batch of seedlings. It's this attention to detail from ceiling to floor that keeps the cycle strong and production consistent year-round. But the most impressive part? This entire reset process takes just a few days. In the fast-paced world of high-tech agriculture time is the most valuable resource. Every hour the greenhouse sits idle is an opportunity lost. So within a week of the final harvest, new seedlings are already being brought in, starting the journey all over again. This cycle of renewal is what makes greenhouse cucumber farming in places like the Netherlands so successful. It's efficient, sustainable, and adaptable. Whether it's winter or summer outside, these greenhouses create a world where cucumbers can grow continuously feeding millions year-round. And just like that one season ends and another begins. Before we close, we'd love to know, have you ever seen a greenhouse in action like this before? Or tasted cucumbers that were harvested the very same day? Let us know in the comments. What we've seen today isn't just how cucumbers are grown, it's how the future of farming is being reshaped. Greenhouses like these turn cold climates into productive farmland, combining innovation, sustainability, and human care in one seamless cycle. It's a reminder that every bite of food has a story, one of science effort and intention. And it makes us ask, what if all farming could be this efficient, this clean, and this inspiring? At Green AgroWorks, we believe in shining a light on how our food is really made, because knowing more helps us all make better choices. So what part of this journey fascinated you most? The scale, the technology, or the people behind it all? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if this video inspired you, give it a like, subscribe, and join us as we keep exploring the roots of modern agriculture, one story at a time.